Um, I'm interested in uh, you playing with Tommy Togi I know for a few years. Um, he's going to be kind of the guy at one tech this year. How have you seen him kind of grow into that role? Um, well, Tommy, man, ever since we came in, ever since I came in, he's been like uh, kind of a leader on the D-line. Like you can always see the leader uh, potential uh, things in him. And man, just from then, he's been just growing every day. Every day, Tommy he comes to work um, super strong, super smart on the field, you know, knows his job. And um, he's always uh, doing his thing and helping us too. So, yeah, he's been growing. All right, thank you. Next up, Jeremy Birmingham with Letterman Rowe and Nathan Baird on deck. Jeremy? Hey, Tyreek, at the risk of sounding simplistic, how important is this year for you? I mean, after the last couple of years of uh, some nagging injuries and stuff like that, how vital is this year for you? And what do you think you've done to get yourself ready to, for this stage? Um, well, I think this year is really important. I mean, it's my junior year um, and I've been hurt a little bit, but, um, you know, I've just been, you know, taking my time on my body, you know, trying to uh, go about it different, you know, trying to eat different, you know, make sure that uh, I'm good off the field. Uh, in terms of, you know, my injuries and stuff like that. Just getting in the treatment room extra. Um, and then in terms of football, you know, I've just been, you know, just working hard, trying to um, just hone in on what Coach Jay is saying and listen to him and uh, learn all I can from him and, you know, do extra, watch extra film and uh, everything as far as I, I can go to uh, get better. Thanks, man. Please don't tell anybody what you're doing different as far as eating, okay? Because I don't want it to turn into a giant thing. <laughs> Next up, Nathan Baird with Cleveland.com and Bill Landis on deck. Nathan? Yeah, no diet questions for me. Uh, Tyreek, I'm curious, you know, social justice issues, they were a really prominent thing with this team early in the summer. And then obviously everything that happened with the Big Ten maybe got pushed to the forefront a little bit. Do you expect that to be something that yourself, other players kind of bring back in a public way once the season begins? Um, yeah, I think it never left us for real. Um, you know, we always uh, – you know, just looking out and trying to bring that uh, bring that into everything we're doing. I mean, uh, social justice is a big topic in today's world. Um, what's going on is, you know, not not right, and we know that. So, my mom, you know, uh, our parents, you know, all the players, you know, we never we never really forget what's happening, and we always, you know, keeping that with us, and you know, everywhere we go. Next up, Bill Landis with Brendan Gulick on deck. Bill? Hey, Tyreek. Uh, I think before last season, you, you seemed um, kind of fixated on, on your stance and, and your get off and, and kind of perfecting that a little bit. What's, what's kind of in the crosshairs for you now this preseason? What are, what are some of the things that you're trying to perfect as you try to you know, improve your technique? Um, I'm trying to, you know, become more of a student of the game, you know, see stuff, see a lot more things before they happen. Um, you know, trying to get my run fits down. Uh, I'm always trying to, you know, get my get off better. Um, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to do everything I can, you know. Uh, I'm watching tape after practice, you know, seeing little things with Coach Jay or, or uh, looking at uh, tape with him and seeing what I could do better, you know. Just all the types of things, my hands, violent hands, you know, get off, uh, low pads, all that. Next up, Brendan Gulick, Buckeyes Now on Sports Illustrated with Austin Ward on deck. Brendan? Hey, Tyreek, I was wondering if you might be able to give us a, a little bit of perspective on what life is like right now for you, uh, trying to balance everything that's gone on with football and COVID and the delay and class. Can you, can you maybe give us some 10,000-foot view on what a, a normal day looks like for you right now? Um, normal day, I mean, we got a class. Uh, everything's online. So, I mean, I get up and lift. Um, then I go to class online. Um, we got a little break in between, uh, so I get some treatment you know, throughout the day and then come back to the Woody, uh, get ready uh, for practice, you know, get some more treatment, you know, get, a, get some meals in and get ready for practice, go to men's and then back at it. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my phone was ringing. Uh, next up, Austin Ward, Letterman Row, with Dan Hope on deck. Austin? Uh, Chase has talked many times about how 
you know, that you would be the guy to take the torch and how confident, you know, he was that you would be able to meet that first round Rushman standard. Now that it's, it's your turn, how many conversations like that did you have with Chase, you know, to, to handle that role? And, and are you ready for this moment to, to take it? Um, you know, I talk to Chase a lot and he's always just telling me, you know, just trust my technique, you know, trust the coach Johnson, and, you know, and trust the system. So he, every day he's just, you know, every time I talk to him, he's just telling me, you know, just be myself, you know, trusting what Coach Johnson has to say and then it'll all take itself from there. So, um, you know, I just let God handle it itself. You know, I work as hard as I can work and I do what I can do to make myself better and to help the team be better. And then um, I just hope everything falls into place. I'm not sure who's next. Who's next, guys? Go with me. Dan Hope. Yeah. Go ahead, Dan. I'm sorry. Dan Hope with the 11 Warriors. Tyreek, Larry was saying before that, you know, he thinks you guys have five defensive ends who are all good enough to start anywhere in the country. What's it like being a part of that group and having all you guys to push each other? Uh, it's, I think it's great. Um, I think everybody, you know, can learn from everybody. Everybody's different. Everybody rushes different. Everybody, you know, has different strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, we're all uh, like brothers in, in the D-line unit. And, you know, in the five DNs, we're, we're really, really tight. And, you know, when we can uh, take constructive criticism. And, you know, when we mess up on something, you know, we're good enough and we're tight enough that we can tell each other, hey, man, you know, you got to do this better, or, you know, without it taking it personal. And I think that goes a long way because we can uh, only get better and better from there. Sky's the limit for us. Thanks, Tyreek. We got one final question for Tyreek. Uh, this is from Bill Rabinowitz, the Columbus Dispatch. Uh, yeah, Tyreek. Um, how different is Zach Harrison this year than last? How good can he be? Um, you know, Zach, he's great. Uh, you know, I'm, I always can learn from him, too, when I watch him. Uh, his get off, um, his uh, student of the game, the way he uh, takes the uh, media into the field. He's just um, on point all the time. And, you know, he keeps everybody else on their toes, too. And, you know, his speed, quickness, his uh, strength, he's uh, always growing, you know, always working hard. And um, he's uh, one of the leaders on the D-line already. You know, you can already see those tendencies in him. And you know, I already know um, he's going to take over. You know, he's going to be the one because uh, he got that mindset and that mentality. So that's been great uh, for everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Come visit us over at BuckeyeGrove.com for all the best Ohio State information on the web.